Sticks in my jeans, bend them up and mark the wall. Sticks in my jeans, bend them up and mark the wall. Sticks in my jeans, bend them up and mark the wall. My pockets feel like rerun, your pockets feel like raw. Sticks in my jeans, bend them up and mark the wall. Sticks in my jeans, bend them up and mark the wall. Sticks in my jeans, bend them up and mark the wall. My pockets feel like rerun, your pockets. Everybody, this is Bobby93 MacBoy, and today I'm going to be doing a review on the Belkin Etched Wave in blue for the second generation iPod Touch. Now, um, before I get started, I just wanted to tell you guys that this is not an unboxing video. I've had this case for probably almost four months, but I just decided to do a review on it to let you guys know what I think about it. Now, the first thing I want to say is that when you put this on your iPod, it fits pretty well, and it feels good in your hand, and it looks really good, as you guys can see. And there's ports on the bottom, uh, there's good accessibility to the ports on the bottom, and for the volume control on the side, it works pretty well, and the sleep-wake button on the top works really well, too. But I have a few problems with this case. The first one is the color. Now, as you can see, it has this really cool design on the back, and the color is blue and black, and it looks really awesome. But after excessive use, like I haven't taken this case off probably once since I put it on my iPod, the corners start to fade, and the black rubs off, and it shows blue. And that, honestly, is just kind of a sign of like a, like a not that sturdy case. Now this was a $30 case when I bought it. I think the price has gone down since then. I'm not sure. It, it, pre it pretty much depends on where you buy it from. But as you can see the color starts to fade if, you, you, if you're planning on using your case a lot. So if you're planning on buying a case that um, last, will last you a long time, I don't recommend this case for a long lasting case. Another good thing about it though is as you guys can probably see it has like a little ridge it kind of bumps up so it has that on the table um, protection so you can lay it face down without the actual screen touching the surface that it's laying down on so that's always a plus and it's not a bulky case it fits pretty tight on your iPod one thing that I don't like about it though is when you um, or when you put the iPod in the case and in your pocket when you pull it out of your pocket a lot of the times this case will come off leaving your iPod something like this like in your pocket and it tends to get little scratches around the edges of it so that's kind of a minus for me so if you're planning on putting your iPod in your pocket and you don't want it to get scratched this is probably not the case to go for but um, if you like say you're a girl and you're keeping it in your purse it'll stay on if it's like in a loose surface like whenever I put it in my backpack it stays in my backpack and it doesn't get loose Another thing is I didn't know that if you leave a case on your iPod for too long, it will start to collect dust, dust on the back of the actual um, iPod. And I just recently figured this out. And so I checked the back of my iPod. And as you can see, those aren't scratches on it, but those are um, dust marks. They're like little clots of dust that are stuck on the back of the iPod. Now, I'm, you can remove these by... Uh, just kind of like getting one of the cleaning cloths and um, getting it wet and rubbing it off and it should get the dust off but just be aware that the dust does collect on the inside of this case um, so if you do use this case I suggest you take it off and clean the back of your iPod and maybe the inside of your case at least like once every other week or um, maybe once a week if you really like to keep your iPod clean so my overall impression of this case is it looks really good, it uh, gives good protection, I haven't gotten a single scratch on the back. It's not a very um, hardcore case and it won't last you that long, so if you're one of those people who changes cases really quickly, this is probably a good case for you. And <coughs> overall, just for like everyday use, it does get the job done and if you take a really close look at my iPod. Not, there's not a single scratch on it, that's just all um, uh, dust clots on the back of it. But for a case that protects the back of your iPod, this works really well. So that is my review on the Belkin Etched Wave Touch for the second generation iPod Touch. And it's in blue. Thank you for watching. This is Bobby93MathBoy. If you like my videos, please subscribe. Thank you.